Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Zowie XL2546 240Hz gaming monitor. On the front of the monitor is the power and navigation buttons that move up, down, left, right, and enter. On the left side is the microphone and headphone jacks. The headphones are passed through from the HDMI port, and there's a microphone passed through on the bottom of the monitor. It's the same for the USB 3.0 ports. Then there's a retractable headphone hanger that is super convenient for hanging up your cans when not in use. On the monitor stand there's a guide that can help you remember what the tilt angle is when you have to move your monitor and you want it back to exactly the way it was. Same goes for the base. On the back is a sturdy handle for easy carrying and makes it easy to just move around. There's also a logo and some ventilation. And I really like this design element. Okay, so the I.O. starting from the top is a USB 3 connector from the monitor to the computer. Then there's a DisplayPort 1.2, an HDMI 1.4, and 2.0 port. Keep in mind that if you want to use 240Hz, you need to either use the DisplayPort or the HDMI 2.0 port. And your graphics card also needs to support HDMI 2.0 as well. There's a DVI and USB port for the S-Switch. And then there's a microphone port that I mentioned earlier. And of course the power port. This monitor supports the full range of motion. Pan, tilt, height, and even a 90 degree portrait. The S-Switch is a controller for the on-screen display. I've never used something like this before and it makes things so much easier to navigate and make changes. There's even a three custom preset you can program in here. So for example, a mode for gaming and a mode for movies or regular desktop use. One feature that I really appreciate is the input auto switch. I prefer to have this off if I use it as a computer and a console monitor. Taking a quick look at the technical specs of this 24 inch monitor is the 240 Hz 1 millisecond response time gray to gray. It's a TN panel with pretty good color reproduction. It shines at 320 nit brightness. The resolution is 1920 by 1080 and the pixel pitch is 0.28. Now I'll be the first to admit that I'm not good at Overwatch, but I do play a lot better at refresh rates above 60 Hz and I can tell the difference between 60 and anything over 120 hertz. But don't just take my word for it because I suck at gaming. I recently hosted a match between two colleges where Zowie partnered with us and provided these monitors for the players to use. And so here's what they had to say about them. My name is Michael Hara. I play projectile DPS for the CSUN Matadors. It was pretty amazing. The clarity is off the charts. The response time is great and Playing on something that's actually over 140 hertz is just like breaking new ceilings. At home, I play on a 144 hertz monitor and I didn't think I would really notice the difference, but it's actually fantastic. Uh, playing on the BenQ monitors at 240 hertz was, the best way to describe it is like butter smooth. I had no complaints, everything felt really seamless. Uh, I've played at a 144 hertz monitor at home. Um, the difference between them isn't really too large that I could notice side by side, really, but uh, going back to a 144Hz monitor kind of felt a little bit slower in my experience. Was there any input lag on the response time? No, I felt zero input lag, like none whatsoever. Um, the difference between 60Hz and 144Hz, like a lot of people would agree, is huge. And in the uh, case, of professionals, maybe they could tell the difference between 144 and 240 hertz, but for the vast majority of gamers, I feel like 240 hertz, the difference between 240 hertz and 144 hertz is pretty small. You can't really tell. So there you have it, folks. Special thanks to Zowie by BenQ for partnering with me. Ever since using this monitor, I ended up personally buying the XL2411P. Uh, links to where to buy this monitor and uh, the 2411P will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.